Okay, so we're going to start with a little warm up, uh, and then we're going to move into some Jiu Jitsu specific drills, working, uh, continuing to work on some of the stuff that we did yesterday. Uh, and then we'll move into a little bit of a workout. And then if you guys want to finish with the stretch, um, of course, we're going to finish with the stretch. Okay, so um, we're going to start with just some, some three count jumping jacks. Okay, so we're going one, two, three, one. Okay, up to 10. All right. Um, and then the next one, we're going to do some toe touches. So same thing. So we're going hands up and we're going one, two, three, one. All right. That's the second one. And then the third, we're going to do, uh, inch push pushups. So we're going to walk out boop, 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 on our yoga mat, move into a push up, and then we're going to walk back like so. Okay. So this is going to be the first part uh, of our warm up. We'll get a little moving today. Warm up. All right, so we're gonna start with those uh, 10 count jumping jacks, or three count jumping jacks. Ready guys, and here we go. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, 10. Nice guys. Good. Let's shake it up. Bax is trying to join us. Again. Back over there. All right. So we're going to our toe touches. So hands up. Okay. We're going one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. Good. All right. So now the inchworms, we're going to do three, and then we're going to repeat it again for our warm up. Forgot my timer, so I know we're at. My bad. Okay? So here we go. Take your time on this one, guys. Really feel that stretch through your hamstrings and through your, and through your calves. So let's walk out nice and slow. I like to actually walk out on my fingertips here. Okay? And the reason why, can you take this guy, please? Okay? So we want to walk out on our fingertips because what we're doing is strengthening those joints for when we get back to being able to grab the gi. Push, and we're walking out again. Nice little stretch. There's one. Two. And three. Good. Okay, so we're gonna repeat this cycle again. So we're going back uh, to those three count jumping jacks. Okay, or, yeah, there we go. Ready? And one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten. Nice. <laughs> the dog really wants to come over here. Again. All right. Hands up. So we're going to our toe touches. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Eight. One, two, three. Nine. One, two, three. 10. Good. So back on those inchworms. Again, guys, uh, if your hands aren't strong, feel free to go on your palms. But if you want to really strengthen that, and especially for that grip strength, keep your fingers flexed and come out on your fingertips. Okay, like little, little claws. All right? So walk it out nice and slow, under control. Nice solid push up and back. A little stretch there in the hamstrings. Okay, we're going again. Little hamstring stretch, and again. Nice. Okay, last set, one more set. Stay nice and warm, come back to our jumping jacks. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, 
three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten. Good. Okay. Back to our toe touches. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten. Okay? And now our last set of our inch one push-ups, okay? So here we go. One, there's two guys, last one, good, all right, everyone nice and warm, doing okay, I'm gonna move my mat a little bit, okay, and so let's, uh, we're gonna move directly into now, uh, some jiu-jitsu specific movements, okay? So we're gonna go down on our mats <clears throat> And we're gonna start with our shrimps, okay? And we're gonna do a little bit of a progression today going from shrimps all the way down to a little bit of a sequence, all right? So <clears throat> We're gonna start with one minute of shrimping just like we did yesterday So feet on the floor, all right? Hips are active making sure your head's not down hands are up creating good uh, good habits Okay, for when we're back rolling and those big guys are putting that weight down, we're building those frames and we're doing our hip escape really simple. Okay, we're going for one minute. Here we go. Two, one, two, 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 one, two, one, two. Nice guys. We'll do one more. Oh, there's a cat. Just a little old cat. Thought she was coming to join the workout, but I guess not. Nice guys. Almost there. Imagine you got one of those really quick pressure passes on top, and we gotta keep shrimping quickly. To recover that guard. Good. All right. There's one minute, guys. Excellent. Okay. So uh, we're gonna add in now. Okay. So we're gonna go from the shrimp uh, to a belly up. Okay. So really simple. Okay. Be down the same way. Hands up. So I'm gonna do shrimp, and now we're gonna really over exaggerate that motion. Make sure when you're at home, you're watching out for coffee tables and or TV stands, okay? So a big shrimp, big hip escape, okay? And then I wanna pull my bottom leg through and lean forward like I'm going to my feet. So I'm gonna go here and belly all the way out, okay? I'm gonna push back and move back to the other side, okay? So a big shrimp, big shrimp. I'm going down like I'm reaching for my foot. Pulling my leg through. So I'm facing the other way, facing the opposite way now, forward, and coming up, okay? If you guys are on that, it's uh, a little bit easier to do this one <laughs> than on the sticky uh, yoga mat. That's okay, we'll make do, okay? So we're gonna go for one minute. Keep ready, guys, and go. So big shrimp, belly up. I'm gonna try without the mat, actually, guys. Let's try without the mat. I think I'll move better. Let's go. So big shrimp, belly up. Oh yeah, it's a little better. A little more bumpy though. Big shrimp and belly up. Nice. Big shrimp and belly up. <laughs> what are you doing, cat? Big shrimp, belly up. Great job, guys. Big shrimp. Belly out, a couple more. <laughs> Big 
Big shrimp. And there's one minute. Nice work, guys. Let me get that out of the way. All right, so now we're gonna add. So we're gonna go for our shrimp, okay? So imagine somebody's starting to pass your guard, your hip escaping, but now we're trying to come, <laughs> we're trying to come on top. So when I belly out, okay, it's like I'm in turtle. So now I'm gonna make sure I get a post one leg and I'm gonna sit out, okay? Or sorry, I'm gonna sit in. So I'm gonna bring this like that, boom. And now we're back recovering into our guard. Like we're playing a butterfly guard, so I'm able to track and move with my partner again, okay? So one more time. We're gonna do a big shred, belly up, move into turtle, okay? And then from the turtle, you guys decide. Post, elbow to your knee, and you sit back into your guard. We're facing forward, and we're ready now to play that same sort of drills we were doing yesterday when we were playing butterfly, all right? So, we're gonna go uh, right into this now, okay? Um, so. Let's do, let's do a couple together here. Here we go, okay? So big shrimp, belly out, come up to your turtle, post. Opposite hand, opposite leg, sit in. Head up, and we're tracking our partner. Make sure when you sit in, guys, when you sit in, don't lean back. Make sure you're leaning forward. Yeah, there we go, excellent, okay? So again, let's go the other way. Big shrimp, belly out, turtle, Post, sit in, and make sure we sit in, we're leaning forward, don't lean back. Right away leaning forward, okay? You don't wanna sit in with your weight back over on this side. Then if that person's passing your guard, right away the weight's coming, boom, right back onto your chest, okay? So from that sit in, just really quick, I can tell some of you guys are doing it because I'm watching on the laptop now, the boys in Winnipeg, all right? So from over here, when we post, I don't wanna sit back like this, Okay, I want to go from here. I want to post, sit forward, forward. So I'm leaning in. So I'm active and I'm able to carry that weight if I need to with my hooks and my frames. Okay, so let's go now. We're going to go, uh, let's do 90 seconds on this one. Okay, and take your time. There's no rush. Get as many as you can, but make sure the quality is there. Don't rush the movement. Okay, here we go. So we're down, trip. Belly up to turtle, pose, and we sit in. Excellent. Good. Okay. So I'm going to shrimp, belly out, pose, sit into turtle. When we sit in, like I said, I'm leaning, my elbow's close to my knee. Good. Bella, big shrimp, belly in, sit in. Excellent, guys. Yeah, that looks better. Good. Okay. Big shrimp. Belly out. And we sit at Bella. Come here. But she wanted to grapple. Okay. Big shrimp. Belly out. Sit in. Good. And nice frames. Make sure when you're sitting in, guys, try to keep your head up the whole time. Okay. Because you never know when a road border terrier is going to come attack you. Your head down, whoa, he's gonna sneak up on you. You gotta see him coming. All right, so big shrimp, block, turtle, and sit in, see? Ah, it's good, just like my partner. See, I gotta be able to build my frames, control the back of the head, right? So if he's trying to pass my guard, now he can't. He can't pass my guard now, okay? Can you grab him? Yeah, I need to grab him. Okay, so again, one more. Watch, back, stay. Big shrimp. Belly up, sit in, building your frames. <laughs> All right, good guys. Cool. So now we're going to add to what we did yesterday, okay? So do the same thing. Big shrimp, belly in, turtle, sit, okay? So from the sit, we're nice. going to switch. So I'm going to go back. Forward, you can watch the switch, the same one we did yesterday. We go back, and then I'm gonna take my outside foot and loop it over, so I'm going here, boom, okay? Now, I can come up and drive in for my shot, or to get back to my feet, okay? So chasing from the butterfly. So 
So watch again. Okay? So, shrimp, belly in, turtle, sit in. Good? From the sit in, we're gonna switch. You can see how that allows me to come back and I'm creating that forward motion to go up. Okay? So I go back so I can go forward, post on my foot, and shoot. Nice, good. Now make sure that shot nice and smooth, especially if you're in a hard service. Don't drop your knee down when you're coming up. We want to come up smooth. So I'm using my other hand for support right now so I don't drive down too hard and bust myself up. Okay? So here we go. Let's do this one. Let's go again for around 90 seconds. Okay? Here we go. So big shrimp. Belly up. Sit in, switch, and up. Ooh, nice guys, good. Okay, keep forgetting which way I'm shrimping. So, big shrimp, belly in. Let's try on this side. So we're gonna sit in, okay? Going back for the switch, and up onto that knee. Ooh, nice, make sure your head's staying up. Try to keep looking forward. Imagine there's an opponent above you the whole time, okay? So I wanna keep, when we're doing these drills in mind, we don't wanna create, uh, create bad habits for when we're back on the match with our partners, okay? So practicing the motion, but every time I'm practicing, I'm looking at John, who's filming right now, and I'm imagining John's trying to pass my guard, okay? So I can't be looking down at my feet. I need to be looking at John, okay? So here we go, again, shrimp, Belly out, sit in, back, when I come up, I'm looking at John for my shot. Good guys, very nice. Couple more, let's do two more, okay? Big shrimp, belly out, sit in, back, switch. Good, nice guys, excellent. Okay, and one more. Big bus for the, I keep going the one way, I don't know why. Big shrimp, belly out, sit in, switch, and shoot. Good. All right guys, so we're gonna do another option from here. So just to add, you're gonna do the same thing, okay? So we're gonna shrimp, okay? We're gonna belly out the same way we did, okay? And then we're gonna sit in, we sit in. So this time, I'm gonna shrimp back, okay? So imagine what you're doing, okay, in real time, so I'm here with my partner, okay? So either I'm controlling with an underhook, or maybe if they got the underhook on me, I'm controlling over top on the belt, preferably don't give up the underhook, but I've got the underhook, so I'm going back, switching up my butterfly hook, okay? And then from there, just like we did yesterday, I'm gonna imagine my partner's here, I'm gonna fall on my side, and sweep them over. Does that make sense? Okay, so watch, here's how it's gonna look, full sequence. So we're going shrimp, belly out, sit in, back, chase the underhook, grab your partner, sweep. There it is, okay? So that's the full motion with your imaginary partner right there, okay? So, let's go on this one, let's go for two minutes. All right? So, everyone back down, you're gonna go for that shrimp. Okay, feet on the floor. Shrimp. Belly out, sit in. So from the sit in, we're going back, switching up that butterfly hook. Remember when we're leaning forward, we're loading that person up, we're driving our hips underneath them, right? Boom, I grab, I grab the arm to control, I make sure I'm nice and tight on my underhook and I fall to my side. Boom, there's my sweep, okay? So again, shrimp, belly out, okay? Sit in, switch, whoop. Grab your partner, got the arm, I got the underhook, and up I go, there's my sweep, good. It's not so bad. A little, a little rough, but here we go. 
Big shrimp. Belly out. Sit in. Back. Boom. Up on that sweep. Excellent, guys. Okay. Go again. Shrimp. Belly out. Sit in. Back. Grab. Boom. And there's that butterfly sweep. Excellent. Let's do two more. Okay. Big shrimp. Belly out. Sit in. Back. Grab. There's your sweep. Excellent. And last one, guys. Big shrimp. Belly out. Sit in. Back. Chase into that butterfly. Grab. And boom. There's our sweep. All right, guys. So, great job. That's our work there with the shrimp. If you want to drink real quick, take 20 seconds. Grab a little mouthful of water. Any comments there, Ness? You want to tell me you're an idiot? Yeah, says they washed so at one point I accidentally turned it around to my face. Oh. <laughs> Kev says, the professor in his natural element. Nice. Kev's probably out on another run. 13K definitely KJ was KJ said Baxter has better odds than him at passing guard. <laughs> <laughs> Baxter's got the cardio, Kate. Okay? She doesn't get tired, man. That's the problem. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to move into our workout now. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is do some dips. All right. So, uh, can you follow me there with the camera nuts? Okay. Yeah. So, whatever you're going to use, you can use a table, you can use a bench. So, you can go if you're not super strong or not super strong with this motion, we can just start here and do our dips. If you want to, we can do something like getting this. So, you can have your feet up when you do your dips. Okay. Are you guys a little bit more advanced? Okay, I like to use the stools. I did this last time. Light kind of lets. Okay, last time when my gym was not functioning. I can't remember why, but I couldn't use the gym for whatever reason. So I'm just finding stable and then I can go all the way down and up through my dip. Okay? So whatever you're gonna use, find what you're gonna use. Uh, just checking what we have next. Uh, and then the next thing we want to get. Um, is something for weight okay so yesterday we used the big bag of dog food so uh today i'm gonna cheat i'm gonna use a kettlebell but you can use whatever you want but i'm gonna put it in the backpack so if you have something at home you just put some weight in your backpack and now you have a makeshift kettlebell okay so today is a little bit of a arm day we're doing some dips we're doing some curls and everything we're gonna do is gonna finish with a static hold, okay? So you guys know, oftentimes uh, in jiu-jitsu, what we do is we, we're active, we're active, we're moving, we're hand fighting, whatever it is we're doing, and then when we get to a good position, I need to hold, okay? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So the first one, we're gonna go into the dips, all right? So everyone stay with me, let's go. So we're gonna do 10 dips, and then after the 10 dips, you're gonna do a static hold. So when you do your static hold, I want you to have the uh, muscles engaged, okay? If you're up on something like this, all right, we can bring our knees in to make it harder, or you can go into an L sit to make it harder, okay? For you guys who are like on a bench with your feet on the ground, you can raise one leg as well, okay? But make sure when you're in your static hold, if you're on the bench, okay, don't be up at the top. Make sure it's down here a little bit, maybe one leg up where your uh, arms are engaged, okay? So imagine you're engaging in that position. All right, so I'm gonna do 10 dips to start, and then we're gonna move directly into a 20 second static hold, okay? So here we go. Good, and hold. l sits are brutal, by the way, guys, if you've never done them. They're absolutely awful. Oh. 
Oh, and that's a long 20 seconds. Good job, guys. Very nice. Okay, so the next one, we're going down into our plank. Okay. So we're going to do a floating plank. All right. So we're going to be here in the plank. We're going one, two. Okay, and that's one. So we're doing 10. 10 of the floating planks into a 30 second static hold in the plank at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for an even number, 15 seconds. So one, two is one. 30 second static. All right, so we're starting in five. Let's get ready here in the plank. And here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and now we're going to engage. Stay nice and tight to the core here, guys. Okay, stay flexed. And breathe. Good. You guys are doing awesome. That's halfway. Stay tight. <laughs> and there's 30. Good. Oh, somebody making some noise over there. Okay. All right. Cool. So, uh, the next part, guys, okay, and this is great. This is awesome for all of us. The good thing about jujitsu is this is one of the very few sports where doing some curls is actually going to help us, okay? Because you think about a lot of the movements we make with the E, we're grabbing and pulling ourselves in, okay? Or we're passing on pulling the guy into my uh, into a sit-up position so I can start to move. So we're going to do the curls. So we're going to grab, okay, whatever weight you're going to use, we're going to do 10 curls, and then we're going to hold 20 seconds static flex, okay? So keeping those arms at 90 degrees and holding from there. Okay, so I'm going to go on the backpack, all right? If you guys are wondering, it's only 45 pounds, so it's not too heavy, all right? We ready? And here we're going to go 10. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go 90 degrees and hold right here, okay? Make sure the muscles engage, you're squeezing, okay? We should be feeling that nicely in the arms right now. Good job guys, almost there, and 20, good, just checking my notes, alright, cool guys, so we're going to do the same thing now that we just did with the weight, okay, but uh, we're going to go overhead, so we're going 1, 2, up to 10, and a 20 second static hold at the top, okay, so same thing, you think about engaging those frames, Staying nice and strong and being able to maintain that weight away from your body a little bit, but still being strong. Okay? So I'm gonna go back. The weight again. Oops, kind of moving around. And we're gonna go above head here. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and hold. Make sure you don't drop that weight on your head, guys. <laughs> Make sure it's a weight that's not going to get you hurt. Almost there. And good. Very nice. All right. 
That's round one. We got multiple of water. And we're going into round two. Okay? We're doing three rounds total. All right? So we're back on those dips. Again, whatever, uh, whatever tool you're going to use. All right? And what do we do? 20 seconds static. Get tired. I don't know if I'm going to do those double sets. Okay, so we ready? Hands are on the stool and we're going for 10. guys so we're back on those curls I'm wipe up here getting sweaty all right so back on the bank here 10 with the 20 second hole here we go one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold at ninety. Halfway. Good. Put that down for a sec. Shake it out before we go above head. Okay, we're going again in 10 seconds. So 10 with a 20 second hold above head. <coughs> On the way, head, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, that was awkward. Grabbed a little bit high on that one. Weight was moving a lot. There we go. There's a way to make it more challenging, guys. Grab away from the weight. Good. Down. All right. So take 30 seconds, quick mouthful of water, and then we're going to move into the last round.
tell you guys, if you're doing your dips with the L sits, holy cow, my core is going to be lit up later. You can definitely, definitely get an amazing workout without very much equipment at all. Okay. Getting ahead. So here we go. Last set of dips. Tough guys. Good. So, last set on the plank. Ten and thirty seconds. Ready, guys? And go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Keep that core tight, guys. Nice hollow body. Halfway. a good workout not just me all right so we're on those curls remember 90 degrees try not to brace keep those arms engaged all right ready and here we go two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Good. Okay, just loving this one. Getting those guns jacked. <laughs> Good, there's 20. As you guys can tell, I do skip arm day every now and then. I know they look deceiving. Almost similar to Dave's or Langfield or Matt's. But no, it's actually Jason. I mean, you guys can hardly tell, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, the last one on our presses. I got a little bit lower down this time, guys, so I'm dropping on my head. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we hold. A lot of shoulder work today. And there's 20. Good. There you go. If you guys have never seen a midget cap before, there you go. Just roll off. Watching me work out, being lazy. Good cap. All right, guys. Very nice. So, uh, grab a drink. Uh, if you have to go, you're out of time. No problem. The workout's done there. And we're going to move into some stretching. Mat back out, a mouthful of water. Good. 
Uh, and so guys, we can either grab uh, belt, okay, sorry, belt or rubber band. Another thing I want to show you guys, you can use as well, is like a, a wooden mop handle, okay? So a lot of really good uh, stretching we could do with this, okay? So whichever one you're gonna use, I'll start with this one, just so we can see, okay? Now you can do this kneeling if you want, or standing. So we're just gonna go nice and slow. The narrower the grip is, is gonna uh, be harder on your flexibility. So I'm gonna go a little wider, I got real tight shoulders, all right? And nice and slow, we're gonna go up, open, and back down to the other side. Back around, there's one, we're doing 10. Open, nice and slow, two, open, nice and slow, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice guy, very good. Okay, so again, whichever you want to use, if you have bands, they're great. If you have your belt, belt's good too. Uh, these are like 10 bucks, guys. You can order them on Amazon or wherever. But definitely invest. I always, this one I always travel with. Super versatile tool, okay? Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna grip, palm facing away, all right? And we're gonna bring the other one, palm away. And then we're gonna gently, again, depending on your flexibility, gently, you're gonna pull up to find the tension. You should feel the stretch in the backhand shoulder. Okay, I'm gonna hold this one for 30 seconds to a minute. Let's see if my shoulder cramps up or not. I got real, real tight shoulders. Okay, and shout out to uh, my friend, our student, Carlea, uh, giving me some good ideas for some stretching. She is an actual yoga instructor, not like me, I'm just pretending. Um, so we do some shoulders and some light neck exercises today. So. Thanks, Carlea. Maybe, uh, depending on how long this thing goes on, maybe, we'll, maybe we could talk Carlea into doing a yoga class with us so we can get nice and loose. Let's see. Hopefully this doesn't go on too much longer. Good. All right, guys, we're gonna switch sides. Okay, so same thing, gripping palm down. Other hand is coming behind. And then just adjust and gentle as you need to. Remember the same stuff we've been talking about when we're doing these stretches. You don't want to over stretch, okay? You don't want to go to the point where you're hurting yourself. You want to go to the point where you're feeling a sensation, but it's a nice relaxing sensation. You're not hurting yourself. Good. Good job guys, 20 more seconds here. Surprise, normally after I do a lot of shoulder stuff and I stretch, my shoulders cramp up real bad, but they're pretty loose today. It's good. Not bad. Nice, good guys. Okay, so we can come down to our mats now. If you want, you can stay standing, totally up to you. So we're gonna go across, you're gonna scoop so your palms facing your head. We're coming behind the elbow and what I'm going to do is just gently pull that across and stay here nice and loose getting out on the shoulders okay uh, again guys if you have any uh, suggestions stuff you'd like to do or stuff you'd like to see uh, stretches whatever I'm totally open just trying to uh, give you guys something to work on while we're at home right now so uh, any feedback you have, I really appreciate. Um, one thing, uh, KJ, KJ asked me the other day, maybe we do like a little topic. I kind of went off on a little bit of rant today. So when we sit down, I'll, I'll, I'll go off on a little rant. Again, uh, hopefully nothing too bad. 
<laughs> Good. And let's switch. Oh, shake it out a couple times here. Go across on the other side. Oh, more tight on this side. Okay. Another thing maybe we'll try to do guys, uh, especially if the weather keeps up, I'll plan a day here when we know the weather's gonna be nice and we'll do like an outdoor workout. So maybe we can, uh, everybody has access, you can find a playground. And even with the social distancing, um, as long as you're spread out, and uh, make sure we're washing our hands afterwards. Um, getting outside is a great little bit of exercise that we could do, get some fresh air, get some sun, um, just get out, get out of the house without, uh, you know, without being around too many other people. Uh, it's gonna be really nice for our minds and our bodies. And uh, we can do some different stuff. Cool? Okay, so you can stand your toes here or we can go flat on our feet. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab both palms. So both palms are facing uh, away. And I'm gonna turn, so I'm gonna catch the mat, catch the mat, and then as I lean back, okay, I'm gonna really, the more I lean back, is the more of a stretch I'm gonna feel through my forearms here in the front side of my shoulders. And so I'm gonna press my chest open here, okay? This is one I really like, especially if you're doing a lot of grappling, and we haven't been doing too much grappling uh, recently, but if you're doing a lot of stuff in the gi, your hands get real tight. My hands get real tight, get real sore. This was great on the forearms. Ness is laughing at me. Oh, the cat, the cat is cute. Oh, that's a true, don't it? There you go. No. Show everybody. She just puked on my heating pad. <laughs> Bugger. You can't bury it in a heating pad, you idiot. <laughs> oh man, I hope you guys like cats. Maybe that'll make this video go viral. People like cats. People like cats doing funny things, right? That's what I'm told. <laughs> nice, good. And let's come out of that stretch. Okay. So again. So your knees are going a little bit wider. We're going to move into that child's pose. You're going to reach my arms out, reach my arm out, and just find a nice, easy stretch through here, through the shoulders, and through the lats. I'm going to bring my timer down so I know where we're at. I don't think most people stretch with timers, but I always stretch with a timer to make sure I'm holding the stretch for a minimum of a minute. And when I'm doing a lot of my own stretching uh, in the mornings and stuff, especially before training, if you'd like to get at least a half hour stretching in, uh, some of the stretches, the more, my, my more tight places, I'll, places that are more tight for me, I'll hold for two to three minutes per stretch. Really get in there nice and loose. Okay, so what we're gonna do guys, you're gonna take the hand now, okay, you're gonna reach across the mat, and go to either side, I'm starting with my right side. I'm gonna bring my left foot in, and now I'm gonna pull. So I'm gonna drop into my right hip, and I'm gonna keep my hand anchored. So we're gonna get a nice stretch here through the outside of the shoulder, and right on that, uh, that really little small connecting muscle between your shoulder and your lap, that gets really tight from all the pulling we just, and all the pushing we just did. It's one of my favorite stretches. Nice guys. Good, so we're gonna take the same thing. I'm gonna pull this arm now all the way across, okay? I'm gonna bring my weight into that shoulder. My other arm's gonna go down and we're gonna look away, okay? And we're just gonna stay here. So it's kind of an assisted stretch of what we did earlier um, where we reached across and caught with the arm, but now we're able to put a little bit of body weight into it and really get a nice stretch through the shoulder here. How do we get just a little bit of movement going? So just change the angle a little bit, feel the stretch and Slightly different places through that shoulder. Almost there, guys. Oh, it's a nice one. 
Good. Okay, so we're going to the other side now. So that left hand is going across. You're going to find an anchor. I'm going to bring that left hip down to the floor. And there's that stretch. Nice. There it is. Oh, yeah. Sink down just a little bit higher there. Feel that stretch through my lat. Good. Let's bring that arm across. We're going to sink down and through like we did on the last one. I can't see my timer. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go cross-legged now and move into the neck a little bit. All right, so we're going to start just looking down. Okay, you can close your eyes if you like, and then just very gently, we're just going to grab the back of the head and just a slight pull. Okay, so make sure again, especially with the neck, you're not feeling any like pain or bad sensation, just a slight stretch. Okay. Good. Now slowly we're going to lift our heads and look straight up to the ceiling. Nice. Going back down. Good. Slight pull again. Hold that. And up. Slow, slow, slow. Look up. Excellent. Back down. Good. Pull. And let's go one more. Slow, 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 up, and back down, good, nice, okay, so we're looking straight ahead, so now I'm going to, again, I'm going to go down, so I'm going to pull my left ear to my left shoulder, <clears throat> and a slight pull again, make sure you're not overstretching, okay, the more you keep that right hand down, the more we're going to feel this, excellent, hold that, Oh, it's nice. And now slowly we're going to rotate our head down, a little half circle to the other side. Left hand's going to go down, and I'm going to go a slight pull here with my left. Okay, again, be very careful with the neck, guys. The neck can be really finicky. You guys who know me know I, have, I do have a little bit of neck problems that act up from time to time. So it's nice to Take care of our necks. Good. A little half circle. Rotate, rotate. Here to the other side. Good. Right arm down. Let's find a slight pull. I think I'm tilting. I don't know. My eyes are closed. Was I tilting? Yes? I felt like I was tilting. Head down. To the other side, guys. Good. A little pull. Good. So we're going to straighten up. All right. Get over now very slowly. We're just going to go side to side. So we're going to go one. We're going to hold it. Good. And slow, 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 slow to the other side. Hold it. Excellent. Good. Again. Nice. It's a nice stretch. It's a great idea, Carlia. I appreciate it. My shoulders are tight. Good, okay, nice and loose. Okay, so I'm gonna finish again, just with a quick on one side, hamstring, hamstring, and my hip flexors because they always get tight, so I always like to finish with this stuff. Okay, so these ones are gonna hold a little bit longer. I'm just gonna come on over here, we're gonna hold this one. I'm gonna go 90 seconds per leg and 90 seconds per hip flexor, and that's gonna bring us almost to an hour, guys. 
Oh, I only have 151 remaining. Shoot, okay. So apparently there's a time limit. Um, so guys, what I did want to talk to you about today quickly, um, so my little notes there again, is uh, especially when stuff's going on right now, and there's a lot of things happening that we can't control. So when you're in those situations, what's great is to focus on things you can control, okay? So for example, we're locked in the house right now, or we're supposed to stay in the house, is less things we can do, maybe we can't get to the gym, uh, we can't train jujitsu, but uh, there's a lot of things we can control, okay? What are you doing with your time? Are you taking the time to read, okay? Are you stretching? Are you focusing on having a good diet, okay? Eating really well, uh, making sure you're as healthy as possible, immune boosting foods with a virus going around, um, things like that. So, um, you know, try not to stress too much about the things that are outside of your control. For example, I, one, minute. one minute. I can't control exactly what's gonna happen, how long the gym's gonna be controlled. There's a lot of stress there for me because you guys know this is my livelihood, but if I focus on that, it's going to make things a, a lot harder. So what I'm focusing on is being proactive, doing things we can do, at-home workouts. Uh, tomorrow, what we're planning on doing with Randall is maybe doing some match breakdowns. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to match breakdowns. Uh, maybe we could get some online yoga classes going on and just switch lights, guys. Taking care of things that we can control, okay, and being proactive making the most of the time while we have it. Um, because before we know it, we're gonna be back to normal. All right guys, so I, I think we're gonna run out of time here. So I hope you had a great workout and uh, I'll post and we'll let you guys know for tomorrow. We'll